steps to be activated in order to what to perform its normal function. So cholic acid role is activated in the liver. to become 25 hydroxy cholic acid so cholic acid oil is activated in the liver to become 25 hydroxy but till this point, this form of vitamin D is also inactive and needs more steps to be activated to the finally activated form or active form of vitamin D. But please focus here. This form of vitamin D, which is the 25 hydroxy oil which is resulted by activation of calciferol in the liver has a negative feedback role on the liver this form of vitamin D which is the 25 hydroxycholic calciferol has a negative role or inhibitory role on the liver which cause inhibition of the liver to not activate more cholic acid oil. This form of vitamin D has a negative inhibitory role on liver itself and cause no more activation of calcium oil. This is a very important role of 25 hydroxy cholic acid oil. Why is that? Because first, this inhibition will prevent excessive, will prevent excessive activation of cholic acid oil. In other words, it will prevent excessive action of the active form of vitamin D. And it is also important, I mean the inhibition, also important. Why is that? It is important because it will permit for uh, for storage of additional vitamin D in the liver to be used for future for future purposes if it is needed. So this form is also need to be activated within the liver to become 25 hydroxycholic acid oil. 
and this compound as we have mentioned before has an inhibitory effect on the liver itself uh, cause inhibition of liver to not to yield or result in activation of more of cholic acid oil. and we have mentioned why this form of vitamin D is also inactive and need more, needs more or second step of activation so 25 hydroxycholic acid oil is further activated by kidneys to become 1 25 dihydroxycholic acid oil which is the active form of vitamin D Now, let's recall in fast the role of parathyroid hormone. We have said that parathyroid hormone is activated, is released sorry, by the parathyroid gland when it is activated due to what? When the parathyroid gland is activated due to any decrease in calcium in concentration. And we have said that parathyroid hormone will cause best rapid phase rapid phase of calcium release from osteocytes and the slow phase of calcium release or in fact liberation by osteoclasts when they cause resorption of the bone and the third function of parathyroid hormone is activation of the vitamin D to yield the 125-dihydroxycholicalciferol. Focus here. This form of vitamin D the active form of vitamin D is very important in mobilization or in fact in reabsorption of calcium in intestine and also in renal tubules. So in case of in case of there are no kidneys or there is malfunction in kidneys to activate vitamin D, so there will be no benefit, there will be no value of vitamin D and there will be what? There will be malabsorption of calcium ion. So this compound, the active form of vitamin D, will stimulate the enterocytes and cause what? First, it will cause the enterocytes to form what is called carbon D. Carbon D is a protein, is a protein which is formed within the brush border cells of enterocyte. Carbon D is a very important protein for what? for reabsorption of calcium from intestine. So calcium will bind to carbon D and reabsorb to inside of enterocytes and then throughout basolateral membranes by facilitated diffusion. So without the active form of vitamin D, carbon D protein will not be formed in the brush border cells of enterocytes. And second, the active form of vitamin D, the 125-dihydroxycholic acid oil, will also stimulate enterocytes to form what is called calcium stimulated adenosine triphosphate. And also, also it will stimulate enterocytes to form 
الكلامي فوسفاتيز all these compounds or factors are stimulated to be formed by the tyrosine in response to action of 125 dihydroxychloric acid form which is the active form of vitamin D and the result is an increased amount of reabsorption of calcium and phosphate from the small intestine so this is all today in our lecture about the role of parathyroid hormone and parathyroid gland and the role of vitamin D and how vitamin D is formed and functioning. Thank you so much for your listening.